Billy, we got a couple of fine actors here, and, and we saw them in the wide shot leading in. But tell me a little bit about Bruno Wu, and you might know a little bit about Bear Batter. Bear Batter, <laughs> right, exactly. Uh, Bruno and Bear are here with two other actors that will be in on week after next to film the feature-length uh, movie, Hypnotize Me, and they're going to tell you about that, and they're going to also tell you about the, the people that they're still looking for, right. for parts. Oh, for, nice. uh, right, exactly. Bear, you actually the producer and the and director, right? I'm, yes, this is my uh, loan, well, not loan, I have Crystal Rivers helping me as well, um, but this is my first, I guess, main directorial debut. I, nice. um, I kind of co-directed Tapeworm, my short that got into festivals recently. And um, when this film, we decided to make this movie, we decided just to, you know, I, I don't know, I wanted to direct it. I'd been doing um, these classes in L.A. And in class, I'd been spending a lot of time directing actors and working on, like, what kind of generates under the skin that you don't see of an actor to motivate them to get where they want to get. Because in every scene, someone's either going somewhere or coming from somewhere. So they're never just there to be there. So, um, I don't know, I just, I really found a passion in it, and I wanted to give it a shot, so we and shall see. Tell the, uh, the audience, before we, we haven't really introduced Bruno yet, but tell the, um, the audience, who is it that you just studied under, and what is the name of the movie? Oh. <laughs> I don't know if this suggests something no, about the movie that they wrote and is directing, but what is, what is it's it? It's not that, it's just Laura hasn't heard of anything on TV. Um, no, I just, I've studied with a lot of different people. I mean, I'm at, at IOS Improv Olympics. I'm a big improv background, but um, I guess it, it, it rung a bell with her was um, my most recent teacher that I really like also, which is at David Kagan Film Acting School, was uh, Brett Rickaby. And he is, I guess, which I did not know at the time when I was studying with him, but now he is the lead uh, bad guy in The Crazies, which is out in theaters everywhere right now. Right. I think it's at AMC in Homer. You right. know about that? I and, know uh, about The Crazies. It's a crazy. huge movie. It's, <laughs> it's a big movie. It's a big remake. It came right. out in like the 70s or something. And oh, you told it. me the 60s. 60s, That's why 70s. I, I, I don't know. I missed it. Okay, the 70s. All right, <laughs> okay. So uh, and I want you to come back to Take Worm in a minute, but let's introduce right. um, uh, Bruno Wu. Bruno is uh, not from China. He is from, <laughs> not from China. Wow. I thought we'd make a mention of that. Bruno is from Brazil. Yes. And his parents came from China to Brazil. Then Bruno went to New York. From New York, he went to, Philadelphia, to Pennsylvania. Philadelphia? Allentown. Allentown. Just north. And yeah. um, he graduated with a BA in theater from Muhlenberg. 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 <laughs> Muhlenberg College. Muhlenberg College. And uh, he has performed in film in a place such as Pump Boys and Dietets. Dinettes. 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 <laughs> See, what were you going to say? When it's Pump Boys and hey, Dinettes. Jackson. He was Jackson in that he, film. And you've heard that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, so, <laughs> Bruno, tell me, uh, so n now you're part of this, this uh, which yes, could hypnotize me. Yes, sir. So you like this area and you like you know, I've been here. I've been here for about a week and I love it. I love, uh, I love the slow, I was just telling Bear this, this afternoon, yeah. I love the slow pace of things. I was just uh, sitting with my co-star uh, on the porch just for a couple hours today, just watching the world drive by. It was very nice. But I, I love the area. I've never lived or been anywhere that's so flat. So right. that kind of blows my mind a little bit, but it, it's gorgeous down here. So flat. We're talking about, whoa, down. Right. <laughs> Until you fall off. But. Yeah, until you fall <laughs> off. The, the hypnotize me. What, what is that about? And, and it, you said you, you guys work a lot with improv and all, but I mean, you're going to film it kind of like Larry David and do a lot of improv stuff? <laughs> well, we're definitely going to do a lot of improv. We have, um, I mean, I have a huge improv background. We're flying another guy in from New York. He comes in on May 3rd, and uh, his name's Jack Carter. And he's at the main company in UCB. He's done improv at Groundlings and LA Connection in Los Angeles. And now he's in New York. And he's just a huge stand-up comic. He does Gotham City improv over there. Um, and a lot of stand-up. And we want to fly him down as well to play a role. And a few other people that I think are flying in from LA. Uh, Ronnie Alvarez, possibly. And a few are different other people. Here? Yes, sir. And uh, we really want to give that like low budget look, but really we're gonna we're gonna do all our shots, our main coverage that everybody does. But we're definitely gonna take an improv look in every single scene. Are you gonna tell them the, the story and then let uh, Bruno tell about his character? 
Well, I mean, I just want to, oh yeah, I mean, we could totally tell the, uh, the background. I mean, when we film it, though, I'm definitely going to let them just bring these characters to life. And, I mean, Bruno definitely has a real good grasp on this character, Vermin, who's the lead. And um, it's kind of an odd couple meets the clerks. And Vermin's character, I mean, he's just, he's very OCD and very, you know, um, he's uptight. very uptight. And Josh's character, which is Tristan Ott, he's also down here right now, um, is very kind of a slacker, really dirty. He likes his life unorganized. He doesn't like to pre-plan things. And uh, they, as best friends, just really create this great dynamic. And you kind of really learn, like, what connects them, how right. they aren't the same without each other. Right. Um, even though they're and absolutely they help nothing each other a lot. kind of get through different things. Yeah, is, is it a comedy, love story, drama? Comedy. Action? Comedy. Absolutely. Comedy. And comedy. Bruno, tell us why it's called Hypnotize Me. It's called Hypnotize Me because, um, well, Josh, the character of Josh, takes Vermin for his birthday to get him hypnotized so that uh, he will try find true love. Because in his, in his mind, Vermin has a lot of women issues. Right. Um, <laughs> so he's trying to help me find bit, some huh? true yeah, love. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. It does have a little bit of shallow how. And I mean, I kind of want to bring that in with like that odd couple meets clerks where it's kind of got that grindy, really pushing borders and funny, that funny aspect where they really push the boundaries. But at the same time, they can, you know, have a really strong character arc with these two characters that just have so much behind them that drive them and make them who they are. I mean, his character, there's a lot that, I mean, people don't know about his character that you kind of slowly find out about his parents and how they passed away. And there is like a really dark kind of undertone, but I mean, it, everything in life has that kind of dark Man, undertone, yeah. you know? Even things that are dark have that lightness that you can bring out of it. Sure. So we do want to show both sides and he's perfect for it. I mean, we put him through grueling auditions in LA. <laughs> 